Spilling water on your MacBook, MacBook Air or MacBook Pro can feel like a disaster, but it doesn't have to be one. Here are our fast fixes for what to do should you spill water, coffee or other liquids on your MacBook. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier and this is Spilled Water on Your MacBook. Here's how to fix it fast. Water can destroy electronics quickly, but if you act fast, your Mac laptop, be it a MacBook, MacBook Air or MacBook Pro, may be salvageable. Whatever you do, don't open it. Don't plug it back in and don't boot it up. It's electronic, so it's the last thing you want to do when it's wet. Now what? The bad news is if a lot of water spilled on the MacBook, you should expect more than a messed up keyboard because the damage would spread to the battery, connectors, circuit boards, costing you in the long run. If it's just a little water that spilled on the keyboard and the water went straight for the keys only, you're out of danger. The keyboard on your MacBook is an airtight mechanism that ordinarily encases debris and water, so there's a chance you may have dodged a bullet. However, you may expect to get a keyboard replacement or top case replacement service for your MacBook. The good news, however, is that there are crucial steps you can take to resolve the problem before it gets worse or you lose your device altogether. What follows is a guide to what to do and what not to do immediately after water spills on your MacBook. What to do right now. OK, don't panic. Unplug. If it isn't plugged to power, skip this step. Remove the battery and unplug any peripherals connected. If you can remove the battery, then do so. Disconnect any dongles or peripherals like mouse, printer, iPod camera or scanner from the laptop. Shut down the laptop. To do this, whether yours is a MacBook, MacBook Pro or MacBook Air, hold down the power button for 5-7 to seven seconds. There's no time to think about any unsaved work at this point. Flip your MacBook into a tent position to drain. This allows gravity to pull the water back towards the keyboard, away from the delicate pass inside and out of the laptop. Leave it for 48 hours straight. Do not be tempted to turn it back on before this time elapses. This lessens the impact of water damage because there's no current within that's being transferred from component to component. Turn the machine over, let it rest on a pillow while it's still off for the water to get pulled out completely. The longer you can let it sit, the better. Next, you should visit an Apple service center or specialist. Once completely dry, try to power on your MacBook and see if it works. If it does, Test your trackpad, all your keys, Wi-Fi and other normal processes you go through. You can now go to a specialist who will assess your laptop for any damages on your logic board. If your warranty is still applicable, take advantage of it at this point. A good repair shop will use ultrasonic cleaning machines or powerful solvents to clean the components thoroughly. What not to do? Do not turn it back on. As noted earlier, when water and electrical currents within your MacBook meet, they can be destructive. Keep the laptop off until it's entirely dry. Do not shake the MacBook. Doing this will only spread the water around and it may get to the delicate parts and cause corrosion or damage. Forget the hairdryer. The little devil on your shoulder may be whispering to you to get a hairdryer and hasten the drying process, but this will only cause static problems, so let it air dry for the 48 hours in a warm, dry area. Ignore the old urban legend about using rice. While it might work for your phone, it just might, rice cannot dry out your laptop system. That's a widely held assumption that rice will pull out moisture from devices, but it isn't true, sadly. Instead, you'll have more work trying to clean out the rice, and you may end up popping some components. How to safeguard your Mac in future. We recommend investing in a waterproof laptop skin with ventilation holes for both halves of the case, a clear plastic or silicon keyboard cover and a waterproof screen protector. You'll probably want to keep that bottle or glass of water further away next time too. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.